Welcome to this podcast series. This is episode two. My name is Chris and today's topic is smart baby technology. What do you think smart baby technology means? Well, I didn't know about it until this morning and I saw it in the news. So I thought it'd be a really interesting topic for us to discuss today. In this lesson, we're going to do some reading and there will be some questions at the end. I'd like you to do some reading aloud when I tell you to do. So let's go. The smart baby technology raising today's children. After the next paragraph, I want you to read just like I read it. Here goes. The smart baby technology raising today's children. A new wave of millennial parents are adopting smart technology for their babies. It is a new type of parenting that has turned nurseries into connected data centers. Please read. Let's focus on some of the pronunciation techniques here. Words like technology, technology raising, parents are, parents are adopting, millennial parents are adopting, new type of parenting, new type of, new type of parenting. Let's move to the next page. This time it's just me reading. You can listen. Pay attention to the key vocabulary. When new mum, Lindsay Elliott, faced the challenge of separation anxiety from her daughter, Hazel, she found an unlikely saviour, a sock. To help calm any worry about Hazel's health, the 29-year-old teacher bought a $300 smart sock which uses pulse oximetry, inspired by hospitals and adapted from gadgets such as the Apple Watch and Fitbit to monitor oxygen levels, heart rate and temperature. I just want to focus on a couple of words here. The third line, calm, silent L, calm. And the last line, temperature, temperature, not temperature, temperature. Let's move to the next page and it's just me reading this time. I always had a fear that she would just stop breathing. It was my personal anxiety, so the oxygen level helped so much says Elliot, who lived in Winter Park in the US state of Florida. With this piece of baby technology, Elliot could sleep easier and go out to dinner with more trust in a babysitter if Hazel were wearing the gadget. She could simply track her daughter's vitals from her phone. Let's practice a couple of pronunciation words. Personal anxiety. Personal anxiety. Second line, breathing. Breathing. To breathe. In English we say breath when we're talking about the noun. Take a breath. But the verb is breathing. And the last line, daughters, daughters. Moving to the next page. Elliot is one of a growing number of millennials introducing smart baby technology into their lives as parents. Millennials are, after all, the generation most accustomed to feedback and data on every aspect of daily routine. Consumers use apps and wearables to track their fitness, sleep cycles, diets and work habits. For many, tracking their children's health is a natural next step. Let's practice a few words. Third line, most accustomed, most accustomed. Diet, diet. Last line, children's health, children's health. Okay, so I've got some questions for you now. Why does the mother want the baby to wear this special sock? Why does the mother want the baby to wear this special sock? I've got two answers for you. Is it because the baby stopped breathing when the baby was younger? Or is it because she is anxious? Which answer did you choose? Why does the mother want the baby to wear the sock? Well, the answer is that the mother is anxious. Now, Anxious may be a new word for you, so I want to focus on that word today as a part of our vocabulary. Let's first have a look at the pronunciation of this word. So, anxious, anxious. There's a really soft K in the middle, anx, anxious, really soft, anxious. And the word anxious simply means nervous. So the mother's really nervous. She's anxious about any health problems that the baby might have. 
if the baby stops sleeping. That's why she's bought this sock, because the sock will monitor the baby's oxygen levels. The word anxious comes from the word anxiety. There's a little bit of pronunciation difference between those two. Let's practice them. Anxious, anxiety. Anxious, anxiety. Two sentences for you. I'm a bit anxious about my test next week. Practice that one. I'm a bit anxious about my test next week. And I suffer from anxiety when flying. I suffer from anxiety when flying. I'm a bit anxious about my test next week. I suffer from anxiety when flying. Notice in the first sentence it's an adjective, I am anxious, and in the second one I suffer from anxiety, it's a noun. Right ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. I've got some questions for you now. These questions are, are baby technology socks worth the money? What do you think? What's your opinion on that? Let me leave some comments in the section below. Do you think that technology is worth the money? So if you had a baby, would you spend $300 on some socks to monitor the oxygen levels? Do you think that's worth it? Does a baby's health have a price? Second question is, is the mother suffering from too much anxiety? Is she worrying too much about the baby? What are the chances of the baby stopping breathing in reality? So is the mother just really too anxious? And finally, would you buy some baby tech socks? Would you invest the money in those if you had a baby now? And do you think that's, that, that's something that you would do? Thanks very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Um, remember, if you like this lesson, please share it with one or two friends. I want to make English as accessible as possible and for everybody. So please do that. Leave the comments in the section below. Did you learn any new words today? I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.